Here are three things that will help you start anything you want in life with literally zero money. Now, you guys have probably seen me talk about, um, you know, starting any business, starting anything really, you're going to need money. And that's true. Regardless what you do, regardless what you start, you're going to need some type of finances. Now, you might need, you know, some businesses you might need $500, some businesses you might need $500,000, some businesses you might need $500 million. It just kind of depends on what it is that you are doing. But in this video, I want to show you how you can start any business, regardless what it is that you want to do, whether if you want to start an online business, whether if you want to start a t-shirt store, or, or, or uh, uh, if you want to start, you know, if you want to build a, 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 an apartment complex or a shopping mall, you personally do not need to have any money. Literally, you could walk into the project with zero of your own money, uh, and I'll explain to you exactly how to do that in this video. Now, if this is your first time, please consider subscribing as we drop brand new content about ways to make money and also specifically to Amazon FBA. And um, also, if this is your uh, first time or you are coming back to this channel, please give this video a thumbs up because it helps us rank in the algorithm. So let's go ahead and dive into the very first thing. So how do you start anything with zero money, right? When, when say you're, you're wanting to um, purchase and get into something like, um, you know, a, a, a real estate, for instance, you want, you found a, a you know, you found a real estate, um, you know, property, say it's a fourplex, it's four units and you want to purchase it and the purchase price is $1 million. You personally have zero money of your own. Well, what do you do? So the very first thing is obviously finding a vehicle or finding a project or finding something that you want to start, right? So in this case, it's real estate or for us, it's selling on Amazon. So say you come across BJK University and BJK University says you need $10,000 to succeed on Amazon and you've been following BJK University for the last 60 days and you're like, all right, this sounds like a promising thing. So the very first thing and very important thing is that you need to find a vehicle or you need to find a project. And part of that, you know, number one, A, you need to make sure that you do your research. You need to make sure that you understand exactly how that thing works, right? And just simply make sure that you understand all the ins and all the outs. And you need to also, number one, B, you need to make sure that you've got an exact plan and blueprint that is going to help you simply succeed, right? So you can't just go and start something brand new with zero experience, with zero money, and expect to succeed, right? So if you've got zero experience, great. Maybe bring on a partner, a strategic partner. Maybe, you know, let's say if it's uh, selling on Amazon, take a course that'll teach you how to sell on Amazon uh, um, or whatever it is they have to do, but make sure that you've got a, a proven bl blueprint that is going to help you succeed. And that will really, um, you know, uh, um, I guess it'll help your chances at getting the money to start. And I'll explain that in point number two. Now, point number two is making sure, well, actually, no, let's stay at point number one. So point number one, C, it's building a business plan and creating something that is A to Z on how I'm going to establish that. So number one, A is finding a vehicle. Number one, B is understanding how it all works and then having a blueprint. And then number one, C is simply making sure that you, um, you've got a, a, an A to Z plan on how exactly you're going to accomplish it. How am I going to start? What am I going to start with? How much I need to invest in the beginning? How much do I need later? When are we going to become profitable? And so on and so forth. And that's why having a blueprint and a kind of a step-by-step -step guide on how to do it is very important. And, and again, that could be a course, that could be a, st a strategic partner, whatever it is that you have to do. The second point is finding somebody that's got the money. So again, you came across Amazon FBA, you came across BJK University. So now number one is solved because now you've got a vehicle, you've got a blueprint and you've got say a plan of, okay, I need $10,000 to start. I'm going to launch one product. And then from there, I'm going to keep reinvesting for the next, you know, for the first six to 12 months, I'm simply going to be reinvesting all of the money back into the business. We're not going to take any profit. So the very first 12 months, we're just going to keep reinvesting the money back in the business so that we can keep growing it. So then the second thing is, who do I know that has $10,000? I don't have $10,000. Who has $10,000? So you simply start making a list of the top five to 10 people you know that have $10,000. And then you simply pick up the phone and then start calling them or go have lunch with them or go take them to, uh, you know, buy them coffee or take them out to dinner or take them out, walk in the park or whatever the case may be. 
but pick up the phone, meet, meet with those people, and then simply go and make your case to them. Hey, look, I've got a vehicle, I've got a business, I've got a, 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 a step-by-step on how to, that's going to happen, and I have a business plan which I need $10,000, and then this is what we're gonna do for the first six to 12 months. We're going to simply invest all of our money in there, and then we're going to make it happen, and then we will do the profit split. Now, how do you, what, what is that, you know, obviously you're like, but why would someone give me $10,000? Well, for a few reasons, because there are many people out there that simply have high paying jobs and they have money saving sitting in the bank that's collecting dust and they don't have a way to work it, right? Maybe they have some of it in crypto, maybe they have some of it in the stock market, maybe they have some real estate, maybe they have whatever, but say someone is an attorney, someone is a doctor, someone is an engineer, someone makes five, ten thousand dollars per month and their expenses are two, three, four thousand dollars, and they've got two, three thousand dollars a month and savings over the course of five, ten years, they have tens of thousands of dollars sitting in the bank collecting dust, right? So they would be interested in actually someone like you who it's like, look, you don't have to do anything. You just give me the money and I'm going to invest all of my time, effort, and energy making sure this thing works, right? So for them, they're not gonna come in as a, a hands-on, hey, let me put in the work. They're gonna come in more like, here's the money you put in the work, right? Now you might find some people that might be interested in putting in the work as well, right? So you just have to kind of work that deal with them and then figure out exactly how to make that happen. And this concept is called OPM, other people's money. This is how, you know, this is how I started. I borrowed $5,000 from my mother-in-law then, um, you know, well, she was my girlfriend's mom, who is now my mother-in-law because I was dating her daughter. Now I'm married to her daughter, right? And I borrowed $5,000 from her. And, and then from there, I borrowed another $5,000 from a friend. And then I borrowed another $1,500 from another friend. And then just all that together helped me succeed on Amazon, right? Because I was $150,000 in debt when I first started my Amazon journey. So how could you go from $150,000 to, you know, to investing money? Well, I, it wasn't my money. It was money that I borrowed. And then over time, I started paying them off. But there's also another way. So you could give, you know, if, if you get an investor, you give them a percentage in the business. Say you say, okay, over the, la the next, you know, 12 months or the next 24 months, I foresee this business to generating about $25,000 per month at a 20% profit. So you take that um, profit amount and, and that's, um, that's going to be about, you know, five to $7,000 per month. Say you multiply that by whatever, by a year. Right, so now you've got a business that's worth about fifty to sixty thousand dollars, which you took your monthly profit, multiplied it by a whole year. So now you've got a business that's worth fifty or sixty thousand dollars. And you said, okay, if you want to invest ten percent, then that buys you twenty percent of the business. I mean, if you want to invest ten thousand, that buys you twenty percent. If you want to invest twenty thousand, that buys you thirty percent or whatever, right? And then for you, it's like, well, why would I want to give a percentage in my business? to these people? Well, because 60 or 70 or 80% of something, it's better than 100% of nothing, right? So that's very important for you to not get stuck there, right? And then you can start, and if you don't like the deal, you can always renegotiate later. So that's one way of doing it. The second way is simply taking out a loan. So you could either go and, and put it on a credit card or whatever, or just do what I did, is I found someone who was willing to uh, lend me the money, and I simply borrowed the money, and then I paid them back. And then for you, it's it's, you know, as long as the, the interest on that loan is less than 20%, then you're good. And, and usually I've never seen anyone do a loan for more than 5% or 6%. I think the highest I've seen it was like 10% per year, but your business is profiting 20% per month, right? So per year, you're profiting uh, uh, 200 plus percent, right? Where your loan is only 10% per year, even if it's at 10%, but I've never seen a loan at 10%. So the second thing is, obviously the first thing is finding a vehicle. The second thing is finding the money, right? And then number two, A, is bringing on an investor, giving them a percentage in the business and while you do the entire work. Number two, B, would be, uh, uh, or, you know, that's either or, you simply uh, uh, borrow the money at an interest that's lower than 200% per year because again, your business can produce that much uh, if it profits at 20% per month, right? And then expect that you're gonna go at least 12 months without pulling out any money. And that takes me to number three. So the third thing is making sure that you understand and you truly believe, you first have to believe it, 
that for the next 12 months minimum, it could go up to 24 months, you're gonna take out zero money and profits. You're gonna bust your ass. You're gonna work on this business every single waking moment without taking any profit for the next 12 to 24 months. And you need to communicate that to your investor as well, that hey look, this is a brand new business that we're starting for the next 12 to 24 months. We're going to take out zero money and there is a huge chance that this business can go to zero. So you, Mr. Investor, need to be okay to not come back and say, well, I need my money back. Obviously, if you borrow the money, and that's kind of why it's cool for you to bring on an investor rather than borrowing money. That's kind of the difference between the two. If you borrow money, you're responsible to pay back that money even if the business goes to zero, right? But if you bring on an investor, an investment into a business, if the business goes to zero, everybody understands that they all lose their money, right? For you, obviously, because you don't have any money invested, you're gonna lose your time, which really, at this time in your journey, you probably have plenty of time, you just don't have money, right? So that's very important that you understand that for the next two to three years, or the next one to two years, I'm going to probably make zero money, and there is a big chance that this business can go to zero. And only when you understand those three points should you start a business or should you start understanding or even wanting to start a business. A lot of people out there on Instagram and YouTube and other channels make entrepreneurship and owning a business like it's this beautiful thing and it's this awesome thing. And trust me, it is if you do it right. But you cannot go into with a mindset of, you know what, I'm going to become a millionaire in six months. I'm going to invest $2,000 and then tens of thousands of dollars are going to start raining on me. I, over the last 12 years, have launched nine businesses, seven of which completely failed. Some lost hundreds of thousands, some made money and lost it all, some, some got shut down, whatever, right? Until my last two actually succeeded, which was my Amazon business and then now BJK University. So you just have to understand, in my Amazon business, I went a whole year without making any, anything in, in, in profit. Actually, the first three years, all the money I made, you know, at year three, I was, I think I netted about half a million dollars or so. All that money I took and I simply paid back, you know, uh, paid my parents back, paid all the loans that I had, paid all, all, all the money that I had um, borrowed and, and I was in debt, right? So the first three years, the first year, the business did not profit a penny. And then the following two years, all the profits that I made, I simply paid back all the things that I owed, right? And then BJK University, the same thing. Although I was, I still was, I had made it with my Amazon business and I was successful in everything, but it still took us a year to a year and a half to actually get uh, BJK University going. 2019, 2020, you know, 2019 was terrible. 2020, we probably broke even, maybe made a small profit. But 2021 was the very first year where BJK University actually blew up. And then now 2022, it's going to be just that much bigger, right? So you just have to understand those things going in. But I hope this video really explained to you how you can start your own business with zero of your own money uh, and simply create a plan. Now, if you found this video valuable, please smash that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel as we drop brand new content every single week about ways to make money um, online and offline and also most specifically about Amazon. Also, if you want us to teach you how selling on Amazon works, below this video, there's a small link that takes you to a short presentation that explains to you how we do what we do, and then at the end, you'll be able to book a call uh, with one of our enrollment advisors. Outside of that, hope you have an awesome 2022. Let's crush this here. Take care.